On November the 30th, 2023, the government produced their long-awaited report on the Clean Heat Market Mechanism, or the CHMM. Now, this is going to become effective on the 1st of January, 2024. So this could actually be after this video has been uploaded. And it's basically been introduced to help the sales of air source heat pumps because they're slower than they expected them to be. So the way the government's going to achieve this is by placing an obligation to boiler manufacturers who also make heat pumps to increase the consumer demand for heat pumps and hybrid systems. Now, I'm not into politics in any way whatsoever. My politics are Man United, <laughs> which isn't very good at the moment, but that's my kind of politics. I'm not into politics as say, but I think this decision is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. This is like saying to all Man United fans, we have to pay an extra price on our season tickets every time United lose because they're not performing to like they should be. I just, I just, it, it baffles me. It absolutely baffles me what governments think and how they come around to get these things passed. I just don't get it. If you don't get it, Put it in the comments down below guys and let me know exactly what you think about this scheme. Now I guess we all know the CHMM has been introduced to help the UK get to their net zero CO2 emissions by 2050 which our government has worked out for us. They've not asked us. They just basically said, yeah, the UK population will easily reduce our CO2 emissions by 2050. And while we're at it, we're going to put them into fuel poverty and we're going to put them into financial crisis. So they can't afford to eat, they can't afford to heat their homes, but we're still going to reduce that CO2 level. Really? Now, there are about 1.5 million gas boilers installed in the UK every year. But the government wants to reduce this by installing 60,000 heat pumps instead of these gas boilers. Now, the reason they say they want to do this is because 16% of the UK's CO2 emissions are created when heating hot water and central heating. So if they can get rid of some gas boilers, they will reduce this CO2 emissions so they can reach this net zero target by 2050. Now there are around 23 million homes in the UK with gas boilers, and there are a further 1.5 million homes with oil or LPG being used to heat their homes and their hot water. Now the UK thinks to get rid of this CO2 and reduce our net zero uh, CO2 emissions, they think their only way forward for this in homes is heat pumps. Now, I know some of you will already know I am training to be a heat pump engineer. Now, one of the things I have noticed about my uh, training is not every home in the UK is able to have a heat pump at a reasonable cost because UK homes are very poorly insulated. Uh, the walls don't have cavities. There's a lot of UK homes where they've got no uh, cavity wall at all. And we have a lot of terraced houses where we've got end terraced houses. So we've got actually three walls open to the elements with no cavity to put insulation in there. So in those situations, a lot of money will need to be spent on insulation before you can actually have a heat pump installed. 
So what's the plan for this scheme then? Well, basically what they're doing is they're forcing boiler manufacturers to put their prices up. So by the time they have finished with this scheme, it will get to a point where boilers will be more expensive than heat pumps. So the only thing you can do is actually install a heat pump. Now it's not just going to be a boiler increase. There's a lot more into it than that. Now the way this scheme is going to work is year one is going to be from the 1st of April 2024 to the 31st of March 2025. Now in year one, 4% of the boiler sales will need to be air source or heat pumps. So for every 100 boilers sold, they will need to sell four heat pumps. So if we have boiler sales of 60,000, 4% of that is 2,400. Now in year two, this is going to be increased to 6% of the boiler sales. So for every 100 boilers sold, the manufacturers will need to sell six heat pumps. So if we have boiler sales of 60,000, then the boiler manufacturers will need to sell 3,600 of them. Now when we get to year four, it will increase to 25% of the boiler sales. So a quarter of the boiler sales will need to be heat pumps. So for every 100 boilers sold, they will need to sell 25 heat pumps. So if we have boiler sales of 60,000, then the manufacturers will have to sell 15,000 heat pumps. Now for every heat pump the boiler manufacturer manages to sell, the government will allow them one credit. Now a full heat pump system classes one credit, and a hybrid system classes half a credit so you would have to install two hybrid systems to one heat pump system for the manufacturers to be able to reduce the credits by the same so the way they're going to sort this out is basically all the boiler manufacturers who create or make heat pumps will have to submit their boiler sales to the scheme and then the scheme will work out exactly how many boilers they will have to sell to how many heat pumps they will have to sell. So that's not been sorted out exactly how many the boiler manufacturers have to produce and sell yet. It's all going to be going off their actual boiler sales. Now, there's even more uh, hurdles to jump over for the manufacturers. They cannot use the sale of heat pumps in new builds. <laughs> they can only use the heat pump sales they get from retrofitting and then the retrofit has to be registered with the MCS scheme, which is the micro certification scheme, if you didn't know what that was. So every heat pump they get a shortfall on the boiler manufacturers will actually be fined three thousand pounds per shortfall so basically what that means is if we have boiler sales of sixty thousand in the first year we need this four percent they have to sell two thousand four hundred heat pumps if they sell two thousand three hundred so we've got a shortfall of a hundred the fine at this three thousand pounds would be three hundred thousand pounds they would have to pay in boiler tax but on the plus side they can buy credits from companies who only make heat pumps because they're not counted in this scheme. So if I was a, a, a manufacturer of just heat pumps, I'd probably be selling these credits to the boiler manufacturers for about £2,999. Now, in 2024, they are predicting about 80,000 heat pumps being installed into homes in the UK. But half of those 80,000 installs, so 40,000 installs, will be 
into new builds. And to combat these £3,000 fines, obviously the boiler manufacturers are going to pass it on to us as installers, and then we're going to then pass it on to the customers, so they're going to be even more skint because they are predicting an increase of 120 to 150 pounds per boiler. Now for me, this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Because all these boiler manufacturers who produce heat pumps are now gonna be fighting for these 40,000 heat pump sales. And what if they don't sell 40,000 heat pumps? because they're having big problems with EV cars across the world now, aren't they? With lots of car manufacturers pulling out of the EV market because they're not selling them. So if we're not selling electric cars and people have got no money to buy electric cars because they're a lot more expensive and they're not cheaper to run, well, it's gonna be the same with heat pumps because heat pumps are a lot more expensive to install than a combi boiler, because basically on a combi boiler, you're just replacing the boiler, but on a heat pump, you could potentially completely insulate in your house, completely ripping out your central heating system and installing it. You're gonna put a cylinder in there if you've got uh, a combi boiler. So I guess more heat pumps with hybrid systems are gonna be sold in my opinion because it's so much easier in like the likes of terraced houses. So that's in my area where I live because most of the houses around here are terraced houses in the Tameside area. So I can see all this is going to do is increase the boiler prices year in, year out, until it gets to the point where it is actually cheaper to install a heat pump than it is to replace a combi for a combi. Now for me, if heat pumps are as fantastic as they say they are, and you get this massive savings and they're 400% efficient, which I'm yet to find out in my training because I'm actually installed one yet, then for me, shouldn't heat pumps be selling themselves? Shouldn't a heat pump be that fantastic in everybody's minds that they want to get rid of the gas boiler and get a heat pump in there because it's going to save them a lot of money on fuel costs? Now, to help the sale of heat pumps, the government has already taken off VAT for heat pumps, so they are VAT free, and they're also giving you a grant of £7,500 under the BUS scheme for installing the heat pumps. Now BUS stands for Boiler Upgrade Scheme and the installer has to be accredited with the MCS scheme to be able to claim this government kickback of 7,500. Now this BUS scheme is only available in England and Wales and it runs to 2025. But I guess when we come up to 2025, they're going to increase this grant. They'll probably take it up to £10,000 to make heat pumps more affordable for people to chuck out their gas boiler and install a heat pump. Now, again, for me, another shortfall of this is engineers to actually install these heat pumps who are trained enough to be able to install them. Now, I've seen this firsthand. We are running a heat pump training course for absolutely free for nothing to get gas engineers over to installing heat pumps. And I expect it to be inundated with engineers wanting to do this course for free and get onto the heat pump bandwagon. But the uptake has not been that good. Now, this isn't a sales pitch to get engineers onto heat pumps, but as a gas engineer, as a heating engineer, we should be able to offer our customers what they want. So whether they want an oil boiler, whether they want a gas boiler, whether they want an LPG boiler, or whether they want a heat pump, 
we should be able to give the customer what they require and what they can afford without the government forcing everybody's hand. Because there isn't that much money flying around at the moment. Everybody's skint and can't afford to change their boilers. Now we're seeing an actual increase in boiler repairs to boiler uh, replacement because people just cannot afford to change their boiler. So I can see this scheme being an absolute disaster because the general public of England and Wales can't afford to completely rip out their heating system and change it even with the government kickback of 7,500. But installers are not there as well to do the installs. We're not ready for this yet. In my opinion, I think we're probably five to 10 years too early for it to be pushing this net zero and getting our emissions down. We should have really, and this is my opinion, gone to pushing hybrid systems first, get everybody used to the hybrid, and then start phasing out the boilers to changing it to fully heat pumps, if that's what's more efficient. Again, that's my opinion. Just let me know in the comments, guys, what you think, whether you're an installer, whether you install heat pumps, or whether you are a customer. Tell me what you think. And if you're a boiler manufacturer, <laughs> are you happy about this? Or are you just gonna take it on the chin and keep increasing your boiler prices? So, hopefully you've liked this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.